Shalom, dear family. Brother Nelda T. Amon, the Hebrew. All right, wanted to welcome you all to the Holy Armor Ministry Home Gym, where we not only work out our body, but we work out our mind and our soul. As the scripture tells us, brothers and sisters. Shalom, and welcome back to Holy Armor Works. We work out not only the body, but the mind and, and the soul. In this series, we're starting the beginner's class. And when working out, brothers and sisters, the hardest thing to do is literally just seeing yourself do it. You know what I mean? So the biggest battle or the biggest hurdle that you first have to overcome is just getting up getting out of bed, getting out of your normal routine or your normal cycle and breaking the psychosis in, you know what I'm saying? Disciplining yourself to say that, you know, you want it bad enough, well, it's time to do something. And in this series here, we're just gonna go to the basics. I know in the first one, leaving uh, the circuit training, that was more advanced. So I'm gonna slow it all the way down and act as if I just now started to work out. Um, you want to set goals for yourself. You know what I mean? You want to really uh, write down a plan and with that plan be realistic and give yourself time because nothing worthwhile comes overnight. So you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to encourage yourself. You're going to have to uh, be willing to go through what you call the growing, the growing pains. As a matter of fact, leaving from last week, that intense workout that, that you all may have seen me uh, do, I was hurting for the whole week, and I'm still somewhat sore. And you know, the thing is, is that you have to. If you never, if you never try it or apply it, you're never going to know what you're able to do. So with anything as far as, you know, getting to uh, build up value and what it is that you do, you're gonna have to put the time into it for you to really appreciate it and get the results that you're looking for. Well, enough of the talking. We're gonna get into it, brothers and sisters. We always wanna first start by stretching out and uh, warming up, get that blood going. And the difference in the beginner's class as far as uh, you know, compared to the advanced training that I was doing with the circuit training in the interval, is that we want to pace ourselves, all right? And so we don't want to just come, you know, go straight, you know, pedal to the metal. It's like we're just now getting here. So the first thing, the hardest part, is just showing up. And once you show up after the first day or two days, the first week, and you can make it past that, brothers and sisters, chances are likely if you're not, if you don't give up by that time, you'll be able to see yourself all the way through, you know what I'm saying, week 12. And, you know, usually it typically takes about 12 weeks to really begin to see some results, to really begin to gain some strength, gain some stamina, get some wind, and uh, all of that. So let's go ahead and begin by just stretching, you know, stretching out, stretch the shoulders out. Same stuff that we used to learn back in the days in, in school with PE. Yeah. Definitely want to stretch out, loosen everything up. Yeah. Oh. Keep leaning all the way back this way. Lean back, lean back. Oh. Get the good stretch. Oh. All right, I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to back up some. And uh, I'm going to start by doing some jump roping and move my things out the way here. I'm gonna start by jump roping, but before I do, I gotta go ahead and put my playlist on. All right, and the way to support Holy Armor Works, brothers and sisters, check the links in the description and stream, download, purchase, you know what I'm saying? Set apart YouTube Truth Music to help to make programs like this. It's one of the programs that we have in, in the ministry. And uh, yes, if this has been inspiring and encouraging, and for you, if there's any questions that you would like to ask, please jot that down in the description. 
I'll make sure to, to comment back and reply to you. All right, that's my word. And uh, you know, like I said, we can't do it without you. So if this has been inspiring for you, if there's other things that you would like to see your dear brother in the faith bring forward, uh, mention that as well. You know, let us know about your journey, where you are. And uh, I appreciate everyone's participation and support and the love that you're showing. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna go ahead and play. Um, my, one of my playlists is, is my album, Get It Out The Book Volume 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and I'm gonna get to this jump over. Make sure you have your water. And uh, I'm gonna do one more round. I gave myself 50 with the jump rope because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to pull it off or not. And especially jump rope in the garage here. But uh, I'm gonna give the proper due the respect in this. Because again, welcome to Holy Armor Works in Home Gym. So, so. Go ahead and stretch it out. And go in like this, stretch our back out. So I go this way right here. Let me kind of see. So my knee straight down, butt kicks back, and I'm dropping my butt, stretching my back down. And when I'm doing this, uh, 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 oh, stretching everything out. All right, so we definitely want to make sure we get that good stretch in because it's starting out, it ain't all about hitting heavy weight and all of that. And just trying to build up something. We're trying to build the foundation here. Ah. So we want to pace ourselves and not burn ourselves out and not hurt ourselves. So really everyone has to go at their own pace. But just be forewarned, if you just beginning you know you're gonna go through the growing pain the thing is you have to just keep pushing through it all right here's the next song we got i like this song a lot here's the gap huh let's go for another 50 to 100 jump ropes here we go one two three one up here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 
jump roping was harder than I thought and it got my heart rate really going so uh, tips and techniques that is truly my hopes and desires to really give you tips and techniques and to help inspire you not only to look and feel better but to do better and one thing we can do is one step at a time one day at a time and give it our all but I was going to say that uh, where my level of jump roping was, right there, because I haven't jump roping in a long time, I mean months, and that was my first time, but to kind of, you know, share what this journey, as I'm doing this for the Holy on the Works, to kind of get, get in shape when he's in time. Uh, next thing I want to do is uh, some sit-ups, all right? So with the sit-ups, I'm going to do some sit-ups or some crunches, and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to do some ladder or hip raises. Okay, well, I'm hanging from the bar over there in the doorway. So, let me go ahead and uh, 30 more seconds to breathe. You know, I want to give ourselves, when we're just starting out, you know, you can give yourself a minute or two minutes tops, you know, because we're just starting. Give yourself enough time so that way you can get through your reps, okay? It's not about overlifting or impressing anyone or trying to keep up with, you know, whoever you're working out with. And if you have a trainer, the trainer's going to you know, really sit down and begin to uh, put a program together for you that goes at your pace. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has different metabolisms, metabolism, uh, and then you know have different uh, different needs, different uh, areas that you might want to focus in on. Uh, some people want to do strength training if you know they feel like that they're skinny and. They want to get bulk up or whatever and get strong, or if people feel like they're not strong, they want to get stronger, so they're going to lift heavy. Some people want to maybe lose lose weight or have certain areas on their body that they want to tone up. So, you know, you got to sit down and, and, and really begin to, you know, diagnose the situation and then go at it strategically. 
But remember, slow and steady wins, wins the race. Nothing worthwhile is just going to come overnight. So to build value and to, to build the value up in it, you got to put the work in and go through the growing pains. You know what I'm saying? Even when you don't feel like doing it. <clears throat> All right, so I can't tell you to jump open. Really loosen me, loosen me up and get me, get me ready to go. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna play that song again. And then I'm gonna start with the, uh, with the sit-ups now. Here we go. Uh, play it off the TV there. Let's do this. Back here some. Ah, uh, I could even do it like right here. Yeah, I think I'm doing it right here. This is what I'm gonna do. Put the weight thing in, right? I'm gonna set my feet underneath it. Okay. I'm going for, I'm going for 25. All right, that's good. And when you're just starting, go for what's good for you. All right, there we go. Hand behind the head, and I'm going all the way to my knees. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh oh, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right. So, I'm thinking for, I'm thinking for these sit here. I want to do 100 in totality, so I owe three more sets. If you're just starting out for yourself in the beginning, this is the beginning stage, right? I used to be able to do, you know, sets like that, anywhere from 75 to like 100 straight. Uh, so if you're just beginning out and you're able to do that, whether, you know what I'm saying, you do five to 10, you just want to make sure that you do it do it slow and make sure that you're make sure that you're getting hold on a second make sure that you're getting a nice good flex in the abdominal area in the abdomen area all right and that doubt in that abdominal you want to make sure that you're crunching it go back down slow and so that's why I said it's always important you see it there you're like love brother stretching it all out you know, you got to stretch it out. And that jump rope will really help loosen things up too. So you want to keep it going, right? Give yourself a minute, minute and a half, two minutes tops to rest if you're just beginning, right? Okay. Take a sip of water, and we'll go back at it. Ah. That's true, when you're going through the struggle, you're going to know who really love you when they help you out of trouble. All right, here we go. Next 25. Hand behind the head. Let's go. One, go up. Two, three, four, five, six, holy, seven, <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, oh my good, eighteen, nineteen. 20, come on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
23, 24, 25. Oh boy. The way that feels. Man, sit ups are long. It's a workout. Woo! Let me grab the waist. Okay, I'm thinking of doing these other other things over here. What is that? I don't know if I'm going to do it though. Yeah. Abs are getting nice and tight. So you want to stretch it out. Stretch it out by going back. Ah! Alright. Stay loose. You can also stretch out by laying flat like this. On the ground. And then you come up. Put those. Uh, there we go. Alright, straighten it out that way. So your hips are on the ground and you're lifting the top of your torso up. Putting the chin back. Gives you a good stretch, stretches the back and, and the hips and everything out. Uh, good stretch. Alright, and then of course, stretching the back out as well by putting your, your hands to the front, hands out like this. And you're stretching back by dropping your bottom down to your feet. Ah, and you can feel it in there. Ah. Oh, all right. Oh, man. The beginner's class. That's how we're doing the slow and steady, getting the fundamentals down. Get our breathing right. See how our body reacts to working out, you know? Always remember that that stretch is really, really, really important. Stretch out in the beginning and at the end of your workout. Okay? For those, that's always a good, that's always a good principle and a practice to have. Because stretching out will help you prevent uh, any type of, you know, it helps deter possible chances of injury by stretching out. So stretch out before and stretch out after. Sometimes often as, you know, uh, training, and you know, getting in fitness and working out, sometimes we just want to go to the gym and just do it. But we have to remember to stretch it out. Stretch everything out. Stretch that muscle out. Stretch the, the body is a, a big muscle, okay? And our biggest muscle that we have is our brain. So that's why we say, and holy all it works, not only do we work out the body, but the mind, meaning our brain and our soul, meaning our conscience, okay? Oh man, I tell you that stretch right there I just did, you probably can't see me putting my put my my uh, my foot uh, forward, right? The heel of my foot, and I'm stretching into it, leaning into it. And from the circuit that I did last week from all that running, uh, uh, just you know, that vigorous running, everything is still tight. So you wanna make sure, brothers and sisters, to stay hydrated. Definitely stay hydrated. All right, time to, time to do uh, set number three. So we're doing four sets of 25 with these, uh, uh, excuse me, with these uh, sit-ups. And then we'll transition over to another exercise after that. So here's, here's set number three, going for 25. Here we go. Now you can put your hands over your chest if you want. Over the back of your hand, over the back of your hand, I, I feel it's pretty hard that way. Um, by the way, this one, since I did two in the back, I'll do the next two in the front on my chest or on my shoulders over my chest. Here I go. One, two, three, go. One, all up to your knees, back down. Two. Breathing out, one, up three. Breathing in, going down. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, also, burn it, thirteen, burn it, fourteen, fifteen, you want the abs to work, it's easy you don't want to jerk up there, nice and steady, sixteen, seventeen, 
18 in birth, 19, 20, 21, hello, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. All right, everyone give yourself a round of applause. Now the pulse of the most high for blessing us with mobility and movement for the breath of life. Also, brothers and sisters, when I'm doing these uh, training videos, you know, I've been working out for nearly 20 years. And uh, as I'm going, it's kind of like, you know, I can show you some of my things really quick. Let me see if I can take a look right here and show it to you. Let me grab this right here. See, can you see that here? You see that on there? That's something that I used to work out right here. See? You see that on there? So write the, write you a list a list down what you wanna what you wanna do. Now for my training because I've been working out, that comes second nature for me. So it's like your arc is always. Make sure I try to get this back in the same vicinity where I had it. At. I'm always working out, but one of the important things that I want to leave you all with is this that let's master our breathing okay so when we're pushing out or any squeezing we're breathing out now either at the top of that that rep or coming down if it's not you want to breathe in deep open those lungs up and i can't stress the importance about how important it is in breathing and not blowing your load by breathing too fast or too hard. Just pace yourself. All right. That's one one thing that I want to in this beginners, you know, in this beginner series. Breathing, okay. Breathing and flowing. That's what we're gonna look for. Taking our time to really learn the actual going through the motion of the exercise. And that exercise is just repetition of stretching. Uh, crunching, you know what I'm saying, uh, pulling, uh, really compressing or contracting or in expanding the muscle, again, stretching it out. At the same time, we know that our internal organs are working as well, our heart, our lungs, uh, our nervous system, the, the cells in our brain, through our body are firing off, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna take another sip of water, and I'm gonna make sure you can see me over here. I might have to bring this in a little bit more. I think you can see me. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go for set number four now. All right. All right. There we go. All right. 25. Last, last sit up right here. Round number four. From my back. It's flat on the ground, my butt, flat on the ground, knees arched, right? Then like an A, and I'm pulling up, I'm squeezing the abs as I go up. Here I go. And I'm breathing out. One. Breathe in. Two. Breathe in. Three. Breathe in. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can do it, that's right. Come on. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 5, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 25. There we go. Back on our feet. Alright. Going really well so far. Hope you all out there enjoying it. Next point, it is my de true earnest desire and hopes that give you tips and techniques to help make your journey successful. So, 
focus your mind on something. Think about that. And that will give you strength, okay? If it's just living for the most high, and that which is always should be all of our, our main uh, motivation. But, you know, getting better in shape, you know? You know, strengthening yourself, doing it for your children, doing it for yourself, okay? Doing it to take care of the body. All, all the more the reason to do it, to glorify the most high. All right, so. We go. Okay, last 30 minutes of this power hour for the beginner series training class. Now we're gonna go ahead and segue over to uh, some push-ups, calisthenics. And you see I have it lifted up off the ground by about a good, maybe six inches. And I have my feet in the back stretched out and my feet right here stretched out. And I can probably change the position so you can kind of see how I'm going. So my back feet are close together and my front hands are shoulder width and my back is straight and I'm going down to my chin and I'm going to do 25. I'm going for 25 anyway. One, two, breathe out. Three, breathe in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. All right. Whoa. All praise to the most high. My goodness. I tell you, all I'm doing is use them my body weight and pushing. So you don't necessarily have to have a full gym and all that. You can do it with just your body weight and your mind working that biggest, the biggest muscle in our body being our brain. I should say the most powerful one. All right, here we go. Woo! All right, so I'm stretching in between for the body getting tight and with the abs and head. I hit the abs, I'm just trying to get, get my wind. Stretch out my back here. Ah. Whew. Ah. All right. Okay. Let's do the next. I'll do the next 25 just like this here. No, the next 25, I'm going to do the diamond one. Have you heard of the diamond shape? Sit up. I mean, a push up. So when you're doing the diamond shape, so your hands are kind of like this here, and it's getting more of a close for the chest. You can kind of see there. So now it's more close as opposed to wide. Get in the wide chest and you're doing it kind of with the diamond shape. It, it helps more of the tries. We're gonna be doing that too in this setting. So let me go ahead and switch to the diamond set and I'll do this next one here. Uh, face towards the camera again. All right, here we go. So now, some people this might be really hard because it could be hard on the wrist. I'm tightening in. Yeah, go down. Oh, yes. oh, it is. One, two, oh, I did it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five more. One, two, Three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Now, brothers and sisters, this is the beginning class. And what we're doing is really trying to figure out what works for us. You know what I'm saying? Really trying to figure out what our body can take. And then we just go back to the drawing board. We write down, okay? Keep progress in your, your journal. Okay, this day I did this. I set my goal out, I said I was gonna do this. My body can only take that. So you wanna track 
your progress. All right, until all this becomes second nature. All right, and it becomes a part of who you are when you do it. Every day, just like when you wake up and say your prayers, prayerfully, <laughs> you're all saying your prayers, right? Giving praise to the Almighty, thanking Him because without Him, we wouldn't even got up out the bed, so. Okay, so now you see I'm slow, I'm controlling that breathing. And I can't tell you with that one what I felt with the, uh, the diamond shape, those are more, what it does, it gives you more of the, that, the good, the good, the good cut in the chest there. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, also, it also really focuses on the tries. So when you're doing those diamond shaped ones like this here, you're coming in, so it's more of like a close grip, but it's more of hitting tries. And uh, it really helps the chest to kind of make it bulge out like that. And as I, if I haven't mentioned, no, I didn't mention this in the, the beginning series, but as well as flexing, I'm not flexing, but as well as stretching, make sure you make it a practice to get some good flexes in there too. Good stretching. Did you work it out? You're working out when you're doing so. All right, now I'm gonna turn this way. turn in there oh and I really feel it down in my the lower part of my torso when I'm turning and stuff all right take a sip of water I'm gonna change this seating here and we're gonna get to this next couple it is too long okay let's see how I do it right. I think I'm gonna have this one here this right here and this one about right here all right all right all right want you all to be able to see, see me do it okay here we go all right let's go ahead and get it in time to kick it you gotta get this workout going. All right, so my back should be parallel, right? And I'm going to 25, 10 now. One, two, three, four, five. Nice and slow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. Uh, gotta remember to breathe. Myself, I, I had to remember to breathe when I was doing that. Like I said, when you go through these motions, it's really all about breathing, so we'll take it away from from uh, session one of the beginning series, beginner series, training workout, is a breathing and technique. That's what I want you to walk away with from this, all right? And, uh, you know, for that first, your first month or whatever the case is, making sure that you just get there. Set a goal for yourself, a time when you're gonna work out. Okay, and then hold yourself to it. All right, and remember to push yourself, brothers and sisters. You gotta focus on something, something. There's been many times that I've been in the gym, training, working out. And not just in the gym, I can, in, in the house, or wherever the case is, I'm out in nature. And I focus on something saying, you know what? They try to count me out, try to hold me back, hold me down. And like I say, most high, this is for the most high, for my, for my family, like this is for my family, this is for, my, my children, you know what I'm saying? I'll think of that and that will give me that energy because you got to tap in somewhere and you got to dig within to the inner man or inner woman and pull that, you know what I'm saying? You pull that out. Uh, excuse me. You pull these, the motivation or you can pull that strength from that source. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, and this next one I can tell. Uh, I'm going for 25. And I'm trying to get straight through it. I might have gave myself, you know, a, a little too much, a little too many with this 25. But I'm going to stop talking and get right to it because we got about 20 more minutes on the video. So, uh, put my back right. It's like Here you go. Down. Oh, chest is tight, so make sure you get that good, that good flexion. And look, you get an arc in here. Hit no heavy weights. I got iron over here. I can hit any iron or anything. But my chest feels like it feels really good. Alright, so it's pumped up. So now, when we're doing the, when doing the close up with his diamond one, if it starts hurting the wrist, pull a little bit out wider more. All right, safety always. Safety's always, brother and sister. Don't hurt yourself. All right. Here we go. Ah. 25. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 25. Oh my goodness. Oh, now I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to hold that chest. 30 seconds. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 10 more seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, oh, oh boy, you're talking about feeling it, alright there family, we're going to segue over here now to see how this looks here, how am I going to do this? Do I bring the bench over here? I think I'm bring the bench over here, yes. I'm thinking maybe I should do, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking maybe I should do my lower abs first. Yeah, let me see how this looks over here. I think I'm going to do the lower abs first before. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of zoomed over there. Zoom that over there. So now, check out what, check me out here. All right. Let's keep that right there. Let's get the music going. On this, I haven't did these in a long time, brothers and sisters. I'm going to say, I'm just going for three sets of 10, 10 plus. All right, I can be kind of easy, but I got I to gotta try it out first. I'm going to move this out of the way and bring this over here. But I'm going to be doing this next over here. I'll show you this for All right. Hold it here. Okay, and I'm gonna stretch out first. Hang down. Keep it hanging down. Pull myself slightly up. One. Try to keep myself steady. Two. Three. Oh. That's hard. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh. Nine. And ten. That's good. Oh boy. Okay. We we'll knock that one out. Now we're gonna come over here and see how I'm at. Now we're gonna do is put this right here. Right here. Right there. So now we move this out the way. And what we should have here is we're doing dips. Alright? And now I'm dipping. Alright? 
I ain't talking about waves either. I'm dipping. Okay. So now, I'm drop down. I'm dropping my butt down. Okay? And one. Oh, I didn't see how many I'm going to do. Let me try. <laughs> I haven't did it in a long time, mind you. Give myself. I'm doing that over here too. It's kind of hard. I'll give myself 20. All right. So, what you're doing, hands behind your bottom. As you could, try to make it like a diamond, if you will, or kind of close together. And you're on the edge. And you can do this on a chair anyway. This is old school. A lot of people, you know, in the pen or whatever the case is, pen dips. And it's just the back out right here. And go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I should say ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Oh my goodness. Really, I should have said about ten. We're at beginner's stage, you know what I'm saying? We're just starting. And uh, the whole idea is not to do so much to work. We discourage ourselves. We we'll take little baby steps. It's all about, you know, and again, at the beginner stage, you're kind of feeling your body, seeing where you're at, you know, making observations, like, you know, little areas and things that you want to improve on your form. Now one thing is, once working out and, you know, here at Holy Arm Ministry, we're all about wellness and fitness, okay? First from a, first from a spiritual and a biblical point, you know? But also about the, the temple, since your body is the temple of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? As it tells us in 1 Corinthians 6 and 20. That we are to glorify the most high in our body. So, take another sip of water. Now I'm getting back over here. Let me turn this way. Back over to the, that door. I try to hit that lower ab there. And the first one I did, I did with my, so I'm hanging from the bar, which is a good stretch. When you're hanging from that bar, it stretches your whole spine, all the discs in your spine, and it release, releases uh, pressure or relieves pressure, I should say. But the first one you see when we kind of like come up my legs up like that and down and up. And that's kind of hard right now because I gotta, I gotta work on that down there to strengthen up the lower abs. So, but this is how we do it. Every day, one day at a time, you know what I'm saying? One exercise at a time. Let's get to uh, number two. This one, I'm going to hold my shoulders a little bit wider and short. I get more support that way. One, back down. Two, three, four, five, six, uh, uh, seven, is it hard? Eight, nine, all right. Woo. One more. Let's see what that time looking like. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay. And keep it going. Keep it pumping it up, brothers and sisters. So. I gotta do my dips and then repeat the set again. And uh, so that will stretch out. Call it a wrap for this particular beginner's class. What we did, what do we do? We did chest, we did our push ups, close grip, and we did our dips. And what is that for? The back for the tri arm, I mean the triceps. So that's what that's for. All right.
Can I get my gift down? Oh boy. Come on, 20. <laughs> Woo! 20 of them. Got you in the same. Here we go, let's do this. Give me strength, most high. Strength of me, Father. All right. For the most high. All right, here we go. One, two, elbows in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Breathing in, 12, breathe out. 13, breathe in, 14, breathe out. 15, 16, I'm actually short, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, get that good stretch in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I can tell you. I can tell you that. Oh. <laughs> it's a workout. I mean, it's, a, it's a workout. Holy armor really works. You know what I'm saying? It's the right motivation behind it. You know what I'm saying? So, I keep pushing. One more. And again, we started with stretching. We're going to finish with stretching. And we out. Ah. Woo! Oh, man. The best part of working out, and I'm always going to say this, is when you finish, when you, you know that you did it, you can put the work in. You know, and all you can do, brothers and sisters, is put it all on the table when you're there. You know what I'm saying? I remember, like, I said in my years of working out, I've never been, like, in the gym as a social butterfly. And just talk, I was, like, like, really focused on working out, and that's how we, you know, Know what you want, know what you're aiming towards, and get it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Ah. It really brings me joy. All right, let's go ahead and get it. Take a sip of water, and I'll step in this. Here I go. This one, I'm going to bend my knees. And I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Down to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh. All right. Another point. Okay, what y'all just did. Whew, tighten everything up. Now I'm getting a good breather in. At least a good minute, minute and a half, two minutes. To finish up with these dips. Beginners. All we did, we did something good. And that right there, that's something to build on. You don't hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? An hour, less than an hour. I'm on here, you know, I'm, I'm talking. So, you can get all what I just did done. You know, if you really push, but you know, you want to not push too fast. 30, 45 minutes, get it done. All right. That's 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and hit these dips. Here we go. Woo. 
Okay, we're gonna hit this last one. Last dip right here. Hands there behind it. All right. Feet out. Yes. Drop that butt down. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh! All right. Woo! Back on the feet, get on those feet. So jump back. A few more minutes here. So now to to flex or to stretch the tries, you're gonna wanna flex the bicep. So now we're gonna just hold our arms up like this, right? And I'm stretching. Ah. Now I'm flexing the bicep, but by flexing the bicep, it's stretching this. And you can also go like this to stretch it too. So that kind of helps it. Now. I think I'll just finish with a few crunches with the weights over here. And that'll be a wrap. Alright, now since I'm on the cement, on the cement and the and the uh, the ground here in the in the home the home uh, gym, the holy on uh, gym. Since it's a cement and I got a mat down here. Oh that's really comfortable. And and put the right weight on here. Right. Do about 20 of these here. Oh yeah, I feel real good on that. This thing feels so good on your knees. Alright, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
enjoyed myself. I pray that this has been inspirational for you. I pray that you may have picked up some tips and techniques and if anything just to drive to keep going. That's what I was trying to say through this whole video. You got to dig deep with inside yourself. You know what I'm saying? To really continue to push. Only those who strive hard to persevere and put the effort in will get the goals and achieve the goals that they have set in place. So always have a plan, work your plan, and know that everything that you do, if you're doing it according to the most high's perfect purpose and plan, you shall succeed. And the scripture always tells us, brothers and sisters, in 1 Timothy 6, that bodily exercise profit a little, but holiness, profits and benefits, not only this life, but the life to come. So with that being said, thank you for your attendance. Make sure that you share this, leave a comment, support your dear Ock in the faith. Can't do it without you, dearly beloved brothers and sisters. And this has been another Holy Armor Ministries beginners class session one, all right, where we, Holy Armor, Holy Armor works, where we work not only the body, but the mind and the soul. Thank you.